When Ben and Carrie purchased their beautiful Green Acre site, Batesford, they asked me to design their new home. 76 dollars. <laughs> Thank you. No worries, enjoy. This was after an ongoing conversation of us potentially working together. Interesting aspect of the design process for this house has been around an ongoing collaboration with the clients and how their professions and past experience in building have informed the design process. Uh, so even though we're roughly the same age, they're unusually experienced in terms of uh, creating new homes in the past. Carrie is a graphic designer, Ben is a commercial builder, and their input is quite literally expressed in the building form. So this book has some really preliminary sketches right at the start of concept design that look at the way the spaces can be arranged around a living space and the pool, uh, how that south facade could be articulated by a higher living volume, um, and then also how the plan could be broken down further by introducing internal courtyards. Um, but generally just the way that the whole building is formulated is, is started here. So there were some really early conversations on a linear house, something that was liberated from complexity. Uh, a living space with plenty of volume was another key consideration, but really just a simple house that acted as a backdrop to their day-to-day -day lives and the joys of having a young family. So one of the key ideas is this play between two courtyards that are really quite different. So the first is this compact protected courtyard which is framed by the main entry. We thought of it as this vase-like capsule which also framed the living space. The other yard space is this open-ended yard which is framed by the master bedroom, the rumpus room, which sort of embrace this pool and outdoor area. Um, but it's really about defining a place for play and swimming um, and a, a backdrop for the family to enjoy the outdoors. The precast panels meant that the primary walls within the house could be erected in just one morning. The timber roof trusses are also really efficient because they allowed us to form up this cantilevered awning that runs the full length of the building and really optimised it in summer. So at the moment we're at this really sweet spot in the build where something really exciting and rewarding is happening every week. Uh, so I'm just trying to relish that rather than focusing on the end result, uh, which we're obviously really excited about. But for now, the building has this dynamic quality it's changing week to week, and it's about embracing that construction process rather than focusing on a pretty building at the end of the day.